Hi guys, my name is Denzel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see, may pimple ako din pero patuyo na siya. And medyo iba yung setup natin kasi pinatong ko lang yung camera dito sa table ko. Because in this video, pag-uusapan natin is about business or how to start importing from China. This is beginner friendly guys. If ever na nagahanap kayo or beginner pa lang kayo to start your own business, then this video is for you. I share ko sa inyo kung paano mag-start, why you should start importing. And also, I will be debunking 5 importing from China myths. So without other further ado, let's begin. So number one, only large corporations can afford to import goods from China and Korea. A lot of people have this big, big misconception that only big enterprises can afford to import from China or Korea to the Philippines. Maybe because of the pricey international shipping fees. But actually, that is not true because China is actually the biggest import trading partner of the Philippines. One of the most reliable, cheapest, and easiest way to import is via freight forwarder. They help you with your importation documents documents, paying import taxes, custom clearance, warehousing, etc. So I discovered this platform. This is the Easy Sourcing Group. Nakita ko sila guys sa FB. Nakipag-communicate rin ako sa kanila. Tinignan ko kung paano yung mga services nila. And sobrang hassle-free niya. No need to worry about the paperwork kasi matrabaho rin yan kapag mag import ka. Sila na bahala sa lahat. My only duty is that I need to find the products na gusto kong ibenta sa Shopee or Lazada. And kailangan ko silang hanapin or for me, hanapin ko sila sa Alibaba. I have a lot of videos, siguro 5 yun, dito sa channel ko about Alibaba. So, maybe, pwede nyo silang i-check. Tapos, i-pick up or i-deliver from their Manila warehouse. Tapos, yun na. Tapos na. Super easy. Their rates start at 150 pesos. Yun rin yung reason kung bakit ko nasabi na pwede siya sa mga SMEs. You don't need to be a big corporation to start importing. So, number two, international shipping costs are too high. International shipping fees can be as cheap as 150 pesos. Katulad nung na-mention ko kaganina. I was shocked to nung narinig ko yun kasi parang domestic shipping fee lang yung rate niya. Para ka lang nagpalalamo from Manila to Pasay. Cheaper ang sea freight. Although it will take around 3 weeks before siya a-arrive. And kapag air freight naman, um, 6 days. Parang wala pang one week darating na siya. Madali talaga guys. Uh, actually, before, akala ko sobrang hirap mag-import. Pero napakadali niya lang pala with the help of Easy Sourcing Group. You can check their Shopee webinar. Dinidiscuss nila doon on how you can import from China. And kung paano nyo isi-sell sa Shopee na magiging profitable din yung magiging business nyo. So, number three, China only offer imitation and low-quality products. China is the world's factory. Alam nating lahat yan. A lot of products na binibili natin ngayon, eh, halos galing China. Even the iPhone na ginagamit natin, yung ibang parts nila ay manufactured or inassembled sa China. And yes, you all heard na low quality ang mga pinoproduce ng China. Like for example, mabilis masira, etc. Although some part of it is true, but hindi rin natin makakailan na marami ring high quality products ang pinoproduce from China. Like for example naman, China actually has a 30% ng mga Nike shoes na binibili natin plus yung mga cell phone parts eh, manufactured nga or assembled sa China. Marami rin silang high-end products na hindi gaano aware yung mga tao. Plus, of course, marami mga businessmen yung gustong gusto nila highest quality sila pero grabe rin makipag-bargain sa China manufacturers. So, of course, if products are of higher quality, expect na mas mataas din talaga yung price nila. Number four is too many scammers inside Alibaba. Like any marketplace around the world, talaga hindi may iwasan na merong mga scammers. That's why it is very important to ask the right questions, do your own diligence as a buyer, and research the company na gusto mong makatransact before buying. Easy sourcing can help you with sourcing products sa China. Kaya yun yung pinaka nagustuhan ko sa kanila. Kasi actually guys, chinat ko lang sila sa Facebook and very responsive din naman sila. Kinicater nila yung mga questions ko. That is something na binavalue ko once na beginner pa lang ako. Easy sourcing kasi they help you negotiate and bargain sa mga China manufacturers. Ayan yung mga chat namin. Actually, ako yung hindi nakapag-reply. And meron silang Chinese-speaking agent para talagang walang uh, 
tawag doon, walang language barrier. At para ma-ensure na walang misunderstanding. So, number five is, it takes too long for your products to get manufactured. One of the reasons kung bakit parang go-to place ng mga business owners, businessmen, is because it's fast, cheap, and yung efficient supply chain nila. Yung normal na four weeks sa mga US factories, sa China, two weeks lang. Mga ganun. They are very efficient and agile compared to other compared to other countries. When products take too long to manufacture, possible naman na madelay or matagalan din yung pag-launch nyo. Pag-launch ng business nyo or pag-launch ng mga new products nyo. Kasi kailangan natin uh, itake consider lagi yung possible delays and kailangan may allowance din palagi. Ito yung plus kasi China manufacturers are willing to work with small companies compared sa US or other countries' factories. So, yun lang naman guys for today's video. Sana medyo na-enlighten ko kayo about sa pag import from China and Korea. Try nyo nang i-reach out sa Facebook, si EG Sourcing Group and sobrang responsive nila. Makakuha kayo ng reply within the day, within an hour. Ayan, ganun sila ka-responsive. So, I'll just leave all their social media accounts sa description box. Meron silang Facebook, kung saan dun ko nga sila kinontact, dun ko rin sila nakita. Instagram, Twitter, meron din silang website. May YouTube din sila and ilalagay ko rin yung mga contact numbers na pwede nyong tawagan or i-reach out. Ilalagay ko rin sila sa description box. So that is it guys for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!